For example. Oh, come on. Weakling, yes. All right, all right. And I, I will explain. I, I won't contest that. <laughs> but let's uh, go to our next issue. You know, meanwhile, political watch watchers have blamed the infighting, uh, or infighting, I should say, for losses recorded by some candidates at the elections, especially the PDP. Let's hear Farouk Adejo Audu, who said the PDP governorship candidate in Togi State, Dino Melaye, lost the election long before Saturday. He stated that the PDP state exco said they would help him to lose. Let's hear from him. That even before the contest in Kogi is to start, that the People's Democratic Party is undermining its own fortune in our state. It is our party that is about to defeat our party in our state, not even the APC, by manipulating the delegates list. I will now believe that even if we go for primaries now, they will try to manipulate the process again so that their preferred candidate will emerge. Everybody knows this preferred candidate. And it's uh, actually very disheartening. And I'm not going to hesitate because, I'm, of course, I'm not going to start speaking in Rido. The preferred candidate of the leadership of this party happens to be one man called Daniel Melaye, alias Dino, who was the mascot of the presidential campaign. So if somebody was a clown in your campaign and you are very pleased with his performance, the mascot that he made you laugh or insulted people for you, is that enough to award the governorship ticket of our state to him? All right. Um, we just heard uh, from Kogi. You see, facts, we are told, are secret, so they don't lie. They don't. Um, before this election, I told so many people that Dino will come taught in this election because I could see from afar what will happen. I chose not to predict because all the candidates are people that I know closely. I didn't want to diminish anybody's chances or make anyone feel that, oh, I do not want him, I did not want him to win, you know? Um, so I decided to keep my views to myself. But our people who are sending messages, please tell us what do you think will happen in Kogi and all that. Some of them, I replied them, who do you think will win in Bayesa? I told them. And to the glory of God is the way I have say things that it happened. I have those messages on my phone. See, before this election, the feeling, Farouk Adejo, by, by, by the way, left the PDP to go and work for uh, Ajaka. You know? The RDP guy. Yes, he yeah. became his uh, top media man. Because Farouk had worked at Punch, you know, he's a very good journalist uh, in his heyday. So he worked for Ajaka. So he left the PDP. PDP has always had crisis. It is the fight to finish syndrome of PDP that ensures that it has not been able to take power back from the APC. You in saw Kogi what happened. No, Kogi State alone. Almost everywhere. You saw what happened in the presidential election. When they said, oh, this national chairman was partisan, he had to go. And Atiku fought and fought, defended him, and cost himself the presidency as a result. Five governors left. How about Kwankwaso? Kwankwaso was in the PDP. Hmm. He left after the election into the ESCO of the party. He wanted uh, these zona elections. And he had a candidate. They made sure that his candidate didn't get it. If Kwankwaso had remained, he would have guaranteed Atiku an extra one million votes. Yeah. An extra one million vote at least. In Kano. If um, Obi had remained in the PDP, perhaps all of them, Obi, 
Kwankwaso and Atiku combined will have had 14.6 million votes or so. Yeah. With that, there's no way that Ashwaju can catch them. Or catch them. So they were fighting one another, and Ashwaju was just looking at them and praying that they will not be able to resolve their differences. <laughs> because it, he knew... It makes you remember the saying, if your enemy is making a mistake, don't interrupt No, him. no, don't. Just leave him. <laughs> leave him. So you can see that Farouk Adejo Aldo had already predicted Dino's fate before the election, because he felt that, look, this person should... Uh, uh, that the party was doing everything to make sure that this fellow emerged as the candidate of the party. You know? Of course, the, the stature of Atiku and having Dino as one of his main media person, I mean, uh, uh, spokespersons, also played a part. Because as the standard bearer of the party in the presidential election, he, he was inevitably a lead, the leader of the party, especially when the national chairman was shunted aside by the decision of the courts. So that what Atiku didn't want to see when people like uh, uh, Wike said, we don't want this chairman. Atiku stood by him. But in the final analysis, the courts removed um, uh, Ayu. And to today, they've not been able to set aside that decision of the court. So in the end, is he, is he chairman? Is he currently the chairman of the party? Of course. You were asked di directly, who is the PDP chairman today? It's the Damagum. Of course, I know it's Damagum. He's from Yobe State. That is the current, because when he, uh, when he was removed, of course, someone will step in. Yeah. So it's Damagum that is the chairman of the party. Mm -hmm. So PDP always find a way to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what happened even in Bayesa. That is what, I mean, I mean as I said, Bayesa, in Imo State. Imo, Imo, yeah. We'll go into that. You'll see what happened. So, uh, 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 helped right. Opus or the matter. We'll, we'll, we'll take a breather now. Go on a commercial break, but we should be.